Hey everyone and welcome back. Before we begin here today, please make sure that you like and subscribe because it really does help out our channel and it also helps us reach others who want to test their math skills with these types of test questions. So this will be the 14th part in our series here and we have Pac-Man on this one. So the original Pac-Man is 1.25 inches in diameter. When his mouth is open as shown, it makes a 65 degree angle to which the center is his mouth's origin point. So his eye has a diameter of 1 12th of an inch, and we need to determine how much area does Pac-Man's yellow body cover when his mouth is open at this 65 degree angle so that he can eat. So what this is going on here is it's saying that this is 65 degrees right here, and from his edge of his circle, from the edge of his body to the center is where his mouth connects in. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to find out his total area of his body when he has his mouth closed. And then we are going to have to subtract out this white circle sector portion right here and then subtract out his little eye. So let's go ahead and let's find out what his entire area is when his mouth is closed. So his area when mouth is closed would just be pi times his di diameter squared over four, or you could go pi r squared, does not matter. Um, either way is acceptable. Um, just let me reiterate really quickly that when we're doing these math skill types of problems, there are multiple ways to solve these types of skill sets on this channel. The procedure that I am showing is not necessarily the fastest or the slowest or the longest or the shortest. It is just one possible method on how to get there to the solution. So finding his total area would just be pi times his diameter, which his diameter is 1.25 inches squared over four. And this pops out to be pi over four times one and nine sixteenths inches squared. And we're going to leave it as an exact area because the final answer comes out to be pretty interesting. So that would be his total area when he's not eating or chomping. So let's also find out the area of his black eye here, which is going to be very similar to the way we just found when his mouth is closed. <clears throat> so area of his eye would be pi d squared over 4 again. But this time, his diameter of his eye is 1 12th of an inch squared over 4. And this pops out to be pi over 576 inches squared. So a very small area right there. All righty. So now let's find how much of this white little circle sector we have to subtract out when he's chomping. So what we know is that in the total circle all the way around here, there's 360 degrees. Well, how much of a percentage is making up 65 degrees there? And then we can determine how much we need to subtract out of that circle. So how much is 65 of the total 360? Well, that is 13 over 72. That is the ratio of the circle that needs to be subtracted out when he's opening his mouth. So the total area that we need to subtract out would just be 13 over 72 times pi over 4 multiplied by the 1, 9 over 16. That's how much area we would have to subtract out. So let's go ahead and find out how much yellow area does Pac-Man's body actually take up, the original Pac-Man. So Pac-Man's area when he's eating, his yellow area when he's eating, would be his total area of pi over 4 of the 1 uh, 9 sixteenths of an inch square or inches squared. And we are going to subtract off the area of his eyeball, which is pi over 576 inches squared, and then subtract off this portion right here, which is the percentage or the portion of the white circle or the white section when he's opening up. So 13 over 72 times the original area, which is pi over four of one nine sixteenths. And when you do this, you get 1.000 inches squared 
which is pretty interesting that when Pac-Man opens up his mouth to 65 degrees when he's eating, his area of his yellow body comes out to be one inch squared. So hopefully that was a funner or a funner one, a more fun type of skill set there. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned a, move, a new math skill along the way there. And if you want to test your abilities even further or more, please check out the other videos on our channel. As I said, this is the 14th part in this series. So we do have 13 other videos uh, doing uh, skill sets like this. So um, if you haven't done so already, please like this video, leave a positive comment below and subscribe to the channel because all of that does assist us on this end. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day.